I'm about to enter the hallowed halls of the cycle show. Giant hand holds the eye. And here, as we approach the main entrance, the famous Alexander the Great's palace, ready to enter the hallowed halls of the cycle show. Okay. Before we enter the cycle show, we see this great view over London. A view that Alexander the Great himself would have enjoyed. On his deathbed, he said to him, it was said, Alexander the Great wept when he was told there were no more worlds to conquer. Imagine that. This was after he'd conquered Britain, of course. The famous London skyline there. You can see the Shard just uh, right of centre. Uh, amazing how that uh, is a crane or something so much taller than the Shard. That's an accident of perspective. Well here we are. I've entered a cycle show and I'm waiting here. Now the reason I'm waiting here and I haven't actually gone into the cycle show is you probably want to look at me don't you instead of him. So if you saw my video from the uh, day before yesterday, when I walked over the O2, you will notice that in that video I managed to fall over. Well, I banged my knee, didn't really think any more of it. I've just been walking around here, waiting to come to the cycle show and shooting some video for you, and noticed that my knee was swollen up. And I thought perhaps I ought to have it checked out by some first aid people, which caused a certain amount of kerfuffle. Uh, I think there's a first aid person here, but they've gone to look for him. So, Bear with, as they say. Bear with. This is on a need to know basis. Get it? See what I did there? Need to know. Well, two very nice first aid ladies came over and examined me in detail uh, and said I had a bursitis on my knee. And they gave me an ice pack and they gave me two ibuprofen. And they say, after I'd been down the cycle show, because I said I wanted to get my money's worth, they said you should rest it and put ice on it. Now, I'm supposed to be going off on a cycling trip to France with my mate Mike on Thursday. So I'm going to have to think carefully about how I sort myself out before then. But now, that's enough about me. Let's see what the cycle show has to offer. Onwards. It's quite dark in here, isn't it? Quite gloomy. Still, let's not let that get in the way of enjoyment. And we're going to have a wander around, see what we can see. This looks suspiciously like Van Moof to me. Somebody, uh, my mate Alan, who works in the trade and came here on Thursday, did say it was very heavily geared to e-bikes. And that certainly seems to be the case. This is Ribble. I think Ribble makes some quite nice bikes. But these again seem to be e-bikes. Again, Kinesis. And as you can see, it's the Kinesis E-Division. What is it with the sudden desire for e-bikes? Now this is more what you want. Why aren't there more bikes like this? This is, I don't know what you call this. Is this an old fashioned bike? Or is it, uh, I don't know. I quite like that, actually. Might be an e-bike, might not. Big crowd expected for the structured cycling training session. I won't be joining that. This is called Gazelle. I'm not sure they're, not sure they're quite the, the dancing, light, pacey speed that you would expect from a Gazelle. They seem a bit lumpen to me, a bit buffalo-like. This is the switch bike. It converts any bike into an e-bike. What I want to know is, can you get a kit that converts an e-bike into an ordinary bike? And then you get off up like a fat arse and start using your own power to get around instead of using electricity and burning down old bloody planet. Turn. Turn again, Dick Whittington. Buy an e-bike. The streets of London are paved with charging stations. Only they're not. Go cycle. Go cycle. Go and get a bloody e-bike and cycle. Sell your bloody e-bike, a normal bike. Use your own pedal power. You know, I'm not being funny. And I'm not the first person who may have said this about the cycle show. But it's tiny. 
my living room is bigger than this. Well, my living room and dining room are bigger than this. There's about nine exhibitors here and they're all fucking e-bikes. Oh, sorry, I take that back. There's another hallway, so there is more stuff to see. I apologise, cycle show. I wonder if the reason is that I'm seeing a lot of e-bikes is that I'm in the e-bike section of the cycle show. Is that possible? It's not that I mean to make a mistake. I made a mistake once back in 1979. Never admitted it. My rider. Now I do hear quite good things about this, about them being fun. I mean, most of the rest of these e-bikes that are here, I'm going to make a broad generalisation now, are big heavy fuckers. Now the my rider might be a big heavy fucker, but it's also lightweight and it's fun to ride about. So I'm told. I've not actually been on one myself. Okay, so I was wrong. It's not just e-bikes. There is other stuff here. Bloody Ribble again. I think Ribble are taking over. It's still not that big though, is it? It's about the size of my living room, dining room, and kitchen and conservatory. And my home cinema, swimming pool, and bowling alley. And the 42 bathrooms. It's about that size. Now this is more like it. Bloody camper van show. Who cares about all these poxy bikes? Just get yourself a camper van and go walking instead. See the bike stores in the back of that camper van pretty well, but where do you sleep? Why do you want to sleep? This camper van is for sale. 71,000 quid. My Toyota Alphard was a lot cheaper than this, and frankly a lot nicer. But, and I will be honest about this, there's more room in the back here for bikes than there is in my Alphard. We learned how to do the back one, which is, you go onto the back wheel, and you hop on the spot, and then you can turn around, and then people start cheering. Hey! And three bucket, and turn both directions as well. Learn, just learn how to turn left. Berwicka, Britannia. This is kind of the, the um, marketization of nostalgia. So what we like is things that are old. Now on that basis, me being 66 with a fucked up knee should be very popular. Is the Hunt stand. Now they, they do some nice wheels actually, I've got to be honest. And I've got a couple of pairs of Hunt wheels, so I uh, can't complain about that. But it's, it's kind of, there's kind of bikes and then people standing around, isn't it? I mean, I guess that's what a cycle show is. Victor Campanard's there, making a special appearance at the cycle show. And this group of club cyclists also making a special appearance at the cycle show. Greenpeace. The trouble is, the thing about Greenpeace is, I mean, nobody cares really. I mean, the poor fella, look, standing there lonely. People are only interested in bikes and e-bikes at that. Greenpeace, you're wasting your time, mate. In, in Vanny. Can you read that? In Vanny, premium reversible cycle wear. Why would you want to reverse it? I mean, you get it sweaty, you just put it back on. Don't reverse it. Velo Forte. I'm quite partial to their bars. I think I'll go up and ask them if I can have a free sample. Do you think that'll work? Worth a try. This is the Riley titanium bike, titanium gravel bike. Now I quite like the look of that, I've got to be honest. It's uh, named after the life of Riley. He was the first person to design a titanium bike. Now this is the Riley Fusion. Now that, that is a nice looking bike. Tires. I mean, you need them, but they're not sexy, are they? I mean, you don't, you know, 12 quid I pay, 12 fucking quid. Lots of people got in here for free because they sent out all these free tickets to club members. I feel like somebody, uh, a Pyong, what's his name? Kim Jong-un? 
and I was bussed in to one of his rallies, only I was forced to pay 12 quid to say, man, what a wonderful place it is. And all these bastards got in for nothing. Topic. Or is it toppy? Or is it topic, like the chocolate bar? They put some money into their stand, didn't they? It's quite nice that some of the people have just got a table. But, you know, not every company can afford all this stuff. This is the Isle of Man. Uh, apparently they've decided it's not inclusive enough. So, from 2023, it's going to be called the Isle of People. And they will welcome everybody there. Cycle holidays, non-cycling holidays. Not very popular this stand, is it? You feel, you feel a bit sorry for people. You feel you ought to go up and talk to them because they're lonely. Now, here on the physics stand is a half-drunk bottle of Lipton iced tea. Now, why would you leave that behind? And a three-quarters drunk bottle of still water. It's not very nice, is it? Physic. Physic shoes. Quite partial, partial to physic shoes myself. I have a couple of pairs. Very nice they are. This is a bike packing rig. I think this is by Brooks, actually, but I'm not sure. I can't see the label. Yes, it is. Brooks. I thought I was right. Quite nice bags, aren't they? Probably quite heavy, though. I quite like the look of that frame bag. That looks quite good. Saddle bag. See what I mean about some of these stands. The cliff bar stand. I mean, this is... This is mainly cardboard boxes, isn't it? And a bloke flogging cliff bars. MTB beds. What do you think that means? Bed for your mountain bike? The Mountain Bike Holiday Company. I suppose I could ask, but I'm not really that interested. I don't go mountain biking. There's a great stand. Cycling Plus. The world's greatest cycling magazine. It's a bit Jerry built that stand, isn't it? Still, it's only a magazine. What do you expect? Now I saw a review of some Wera or Wera cycling tools, which are German, I think, and they're supposed to be quite cool. I'm not sure if I want to go over there because I might be tempted to buy something. I'm going in. Wish me luck. I'm going in. <laughs> Lady here is demonstrating the tool set. And I actually saw a review of that I was quite partial to. But I need to keep away. These aren't my hands. This is this man's hands and studying the tools. Now here, this is the automatic fire shutter. Do not obstruct this open stand. I mean, you, you register there and um, you get to see the operation of the automatic fire shutter. That's not something you want to miss. Only every hour, on the hour. Now, whenever you go to one of these cycle shows, there is a stand for the World Wrestling Federation. And there it is. There's The Undertaker. And um, what was that other guy? Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan there, talking to a couple of people who are interested in getting into the wrestling game. Wish them luck. It's a dangerous sport. There's a young lad there. They're catching them young these days. And it's one of the biggest stands here. And I'd never heard of them until I saw that review about the stuff. My mate Simon says they're good tools, though. Germany said they make good tools. We'll repair your pannier here. Unfortunately, I haven't got any damaged panniers. I wonder if they'll repair my knee. It's worth a try, isn't it? Unfortunately, there's nobody there to ask. Perhaps if I just kind of wait there and hang my knee out somebody would come along and say would you like us to repair your knee sir and i can say oh thank you on a need to know basis that's the second time i've made that joke now i was looking for the time stand and this seems to be the time stand i found it just in time didn't seem to be much in the way of time bikes there does there so i need to get closer i have a feeling the time sold their pedal technology to SRAM and that's why it's mixed in with the SRAM stand and why there are no time bikes here which is the only reason why I wanted to spend 12 quid to come to the cycle show to look at a time bike which I used to have until I sold it to buy Bolton. These are zip wheels. 
but they're very clever design zip wheels. They don't attach to your bike in the normal way. They attach, wait for it, using zips. Surly. Surly by name, surly by nature. This is the kind of attitude you get from the surly salesman. Well, what can I do for you? Uh, can you say it in a surly way, please? Uh, what do you want? Suppose you want a bloody bike. Yeah, why not? That's a surly bike for you. Good bikes, though. So I'm told. Never ridden one. Or owned one. There's a signing going on here. And I'm sorry to say, I don't know who it is. And I don't know what it is. They're signing. If you know, leave a comment down below. Who is doing the signing? And what are they signing? See, I probably should have realised this at the beginning. But the part I was in at the start was the London E-Bike Festival entrance. And that would explain why there are quite a lot of e-bikes there. It might also explain there aren't actually very many people in the e-bike section. Because people aren't as interested in e-bikes as everybody likes to think they are. This is the e-bike advice clinic. I'm thinking of getting an e-bike. Don't do it, sir. Don't do it. Use your legs. But my legs are buggered. I've got bursitis on the knee. Well, you shouldn't have fallen over then. I didn't do it deliberately. Well, so you say. I think you're just fishing for sympathy. No, I was fishing for cod. Well, tuna. Hole and line caught tuna. Reese and Muller. Now, I actually think Reese and Muller make quite good looking bikes. Nice stand as well. But they are expensive. They are expensive. You wander around the cycle show and you think, well, yes, yeah, all right. And then you come outside and you see a retro Mercedes with Campagnolo brands on it, bikes on the roof, wheels on the roof. And you think that, that's what cycling's all about. Not e-bikes, not brand new cycle lock scheme, not digital insurance cover, not raw organic fellow ingredient bar, bullshit yes. flapjack this this is what cycling should be about a campagnolo car with bikes on the roof what a beautiful sight Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And this, of course, is a real bike. This is a Moulton. This is what I quite fancy getting, I must say. Now that I'm into small wheel bikes, like the Bompton. This is the first bom uh, Moulton in the flesh I've seen for a while. Of course, I used to own, own one. And I sold it in a fit of madness. Now the cycle show is not the only show taking place at Alexander Palace this weekend. Uh, there's also a giant swan show, a giant unicorn show in uh, um, tribute to Brexit there, and a giant general mutant racing car show as well. So uh, if you want to come along and see this, you can. Uh, your entry ticket to the cycle show uh, does not include the mutant animal show. You do have to pay separately for that, £42 per person, double price for children. But I think you'll agree that uh, it's a show well worth attending. There's uh, one of the original, one of the original green dinosaurs there. There's also a pigeon show taking place. Here are some of the pigeons that you can see. Now you don't have to pay extra for the pigeons, you get them for nothing. And uh, there's a duck there. Was it a swan? Was it a goose? A mudlark, perhaps. Who knows? Julian's knowledge of birds is exceeded, or rather not exceeded, by his knowledge of just about everything else. There's one on his own there. Hasn't paid to get in. 
The bit I didn't mention, or the bit I haven't mentioned, uh, is this kind of test track uh, where you can uh, test out, I think mostly e-bikes on this uh, uh, track and route. Um, and I think that's quite, it's going to be quite useful for people who are thinking of getting an e-bike and want to try out different range of e-bikes. So there was a section of the, uh, um, the show which was outside, which I didn't go into, but when they had a big range of e-bikes that you could register to uh, test on. This guy's going too fast around this corner. But uh, seems to be enjoying himself. A few more people coming down. Of course, if they fail to stop, they're just going to go straight into me, aren't they? Luckily, there's a fence in the way. But no my luck lately. The fence won't hold. He was taking it a bit gingerly, wasn't he? So to sum up then, what did I think of the cycle show? Well, it was all right, actually. My knee was a bit painful. That kind of interfered with stuff a little bit. But I'd, I'd seen a couple of other people who'd been to the cycle show who said it was rubbish, so there was nothing there, really empty. Well, maybe they did what I did originally and just went into the e-bike section uh, and missed all the rest of it. Because actually, it, it's not that bad. There's, there's quite a lot uh, to see. There's a few things to buy. There's a few things you'll learn. There aren't many of the big cycle bands there, but then why should they be? You know, they're, they're already selling bikes. They don't need the benefit of a cycle show. Um, so, you know, is it worth 12 quid? Well, no, of course it's not worth 12 quid. Um, but then a lot of people probably didn't pay because they gave out a lot of free tickets to clubs. And if I'd known about that, I wouldn't have paid 12 quid myself. But was it worth 12 quid? No, well, it wasn't worth 12 quid. Uh, was it worth getting a bad knee for? Well, it wasn't entirely the fault of the cycle show that I got a bad knee. Would like to say, big thank you to the two ladies who gave me some Nurofen and an ice pack, uh, free of charge, free of charge, um, to help with my sore knee. So hope you've enjoyed this video. You might have learned something. If you haven't been to the cycle show, you've probably missed it because it finishes tomorrow and this video may not get uploaded in time. But try and go next year. And in the meantime, go out and ride your bloody bike. Not an e-bike. Unless you need an e-bike. If you need an e-bike for medical reasons, well then that's fine. But don't buy an e-bike just because you fancy one. That's the reason why I'm going to get one. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.